Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 Part 1 and Part 2 of The Ascendance of a Bookworm OVA. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I think this was something that was supposed to come out. I think I saw a trailer for this, like, a couple of months ago. Uh, like, not even a couple of months ago. I want to say a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know if it's the same one as this. I know this just came out, like, five days ago. And I didn't even know about this until, like, yes, not yet, Friday? Friday or yesterday? I don't really remember because I'm so busy with everything. But honestly, let's go ahead and see what in the world happens for mine. I mean, mine is officially an apprentice, so she'll be able to read books whenever she wants, but it's still a little complicated, though. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with part one in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Fresh baby. It's just important. I wonder if they're going to show the opening for the first season or maybe the opening for the second season, possibly. Opening for season one. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm wondering, especially, like, because I saw the trailer for season two, kind of last week or the week before, and it make, we know Lutz is going to be a part of it, of course, no matter what, but I'm wondering if the, um, the other girl who has the dowry, uh, and a couple of other characters, her, of course, Tuli is going to be in, of course, I don't think her parents are going to be in it as much, because the fact is, she doesn't live at home anymore, so, who knows, I just have so many questions. Yeah, this is the trait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was like something that I saw from months ago. Like, I think it was maybe a week or two after the show ended. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm. Did she stand out? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't know. Of course.
Of course. This investigation is literally going nowhere because you literally missed her. <laughs> it's okay. Lutzman, right? Well, if you possibly see her dad or me remind herself. Oh. Hmm. Everybody is really secretive and protective, but I get that. Well, you didn't break anything of her. <laughs> Mine's nice. Right there, oh my god. <laughs> this is why we don't talk to strangers, kids. Oh. Speaking of which, here comes mine. And there she goes. It just would have been better if they actually had dude, blue haired guy, I forgot his name, um, come with them. So then she would have been able to recognize him and then they would have been able to get this done. Because of the fact is it's just these two and literally they haven't gotten this investigation done or even started. <laughs> Oh, 
Bye. You would think mine's dad would say something about mine and that would have gotten them. Cody, what are you doing? Come here. You have to come here. That's what? Cody! He's fine. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you serious? It took Honestly, yes. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold everything real quick. You were telling me. It took us, how long was this show? This show was like 13, 12, 13 episodes. And you telling me it took one OVA for someone to buy the book. I mean, yeah, he's a noble and everything. So, he, of course, he's going to have money. But... You serious? Like, I, I feel like it just, <laughs> everything just went to shit. Like, are you serious? Like, it took mine so long to finally have a book in her hands that I just took one episode for this guy to just go ahead and buy this damn book that we all saw in the first freaking episode. Oh my, are you serious? Like, that did not just happen. But it is interesting that, like, no matter where they go, they either hear about mine or they pass mine. So it's like, oh my god, like you're right there and she's right there. And of course, I feel like in part two, um, they're essentially going to meet her. At first, like watching like maybe the first couple of minutes of part one going on into now officially in a couple of minutes part two. I kept thinking that this was going to be essentially, because it said side story. And so when I looked at it, when I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, it's just going to be like one of those completely one-off episodes that really has nothing to do to the plot. But from what, um, from the information that we gathered in this 12 minutes, it feels like it is going to be something that's going to deal maybe with not really the first season, more of the second season and such. But honestly, really, who knows? I'm hoping, we've seen now officially these two, and I guess they're going to be in the second season, because, like, it's been a couple of weeks since I've seen the trailer, um, and, it, and it's really good, and I honestly cannot wait to see what our adorable little blue-haired child is gonna explore in the second season, but I'm hoping that in this second part, the kids that were in the trailer, we get to see them. Maybe not let them have a speaking role, but just get to see them, 
you know, mine goes, like, maybe, like, a little sneak preview of season two, like, her first day and such like that. But if not, I get the fact that they kind of want to wait for season two to show her first day and everything. But at the end of the day, it's really up to them. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for part two. All right, part two in three, two, one, go. Because both of them are especially looking for you to the end. She's getting summoned, and what's his face? They're not going to be able to see each other. Okay. Okay, think about it the, on a good night's sleep, and then talk about it in the morning. I mean, you might as well truly wants to go, so. <laughs> you can't say no to your kids. And see, I'm going to say yes to them. I have a feeling because of the fact is they're saying that they're going to get it mixed up. You would think totally would end up working for her. I mean, but this could be an opportunity for her. Okay, never mind. But she's right, though.
that's really not enough. But I don't think that, yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> It's so funny because seeing her and Vendo like literally having a conversation, especially when he yells, it feels like the roles are flipped because <laughs> he acts like he's kid. God, that like the detail on that embroidery. I mean, even though it's an anime, but like, oh, that looks so freaking good. You could just touch it and feel it. Oh. Let my child work for her, please. <laughs> Bitch, your sweet ass for you. Let's just say a lot. <laughs> well, that seems fair. That's it? Oh my god, hold up. No, there's like two minutes left. Okay. Then that means whatever else is gonna happen, we ain't gonna know until next month. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it was nice. It was really interesting. I love the fact that we found out she's pregnant, even though we found out in part one going into part two. It's sweet. I'm glad mine was able to get a really good deal on, you know, the profits and everything. I love the fact that her mom and her sister are freaking out over it. And, I mean, did they ever truly, really, in the series, I don't really remember, take mine to get a bank account or something for all this money that she's getting? Because, I mean, girl is, like, she ain't, like, drowning in cash, but she got money. She ain't got money, money. She's, like... She's Martha Stewart, which if you've seen White Chicks, then you know what I mean. But I, I don't know. Who knows what could happen next for her? But these two OVAs, it's, I like them 
a lot, but I kind of wish it would have been better if they just were in one big episode instead of here's part one, here's part two, but I get the fact this is the reason why they were doing it. But now, I mean, I'm okay with the fact that they didn't show any of the characters for season two except the two that they showed in part one. But honestly, I cannot wait. I think it's airing. Yeah, it is airing next month. So I'm really excited for it and what she's going to do. It's going to be really good. <laughs> really <laughs> and it was also weird not to have loops in this in like either parts really I thought you would have had a little interesting cute little small speaking role but okay going into what the trailer showed there was a point where there are kids around and because of my being an apprentice now she's essentially the kids have to like whatever she says they have to do it there was one kid who kind of was like, I'm not accepting you as my apprentice or whatever. That kind of made me a little standoff as a kid. I was like, okay, I'm probably not even going to like you right now, but maybe later on into the second season, I might. I don't remember his name, but like all these characters in season two look really interesting. But I'm hoping that we get to see the stuff that we saw in that very first episode. You know how, because some movies and TV shows do this as well. When they show something that's supposed to be at the end, and they show it at the beginning, so it's like, okay, here's, this is what happened, you know, future-wise. This is everything that's taking place before, you know, mine met him. So, if we see that scene, I could maybe say, if we're gonna do the same episode length, so like 12 to 13 episodes, maybe by episode 6 or episode 7 is when she's gonna have the problem again from episode 1. I'm not 100% sure. But honestly, I mean, whatever really happens in this next season, it's going to be really good. And I'm happy we're going to be able to get to see it it's so quickly because I was expecting, way before I found out it was in April, coming out in April, I was expecting this show to come back, like, either summer or possibly fall. That's what I was expecting with it. Because I was like, okay, maybe they're probably done with production for season two, like, quickly. Or maybe in a year from now. But no, I mean... I just, I can't wait. It's going to be really good. And I cannot wait to see her. Like, I've seen pictures of um, of the poster and the new art for everything. And it looks so pretty. And I'm just like, oh my god. Like, look at my baby. She's moving forward into what she wants to do to accomplish her main goal. And I'm just like, I'm so proud of her. Like, a proud mommy. But I still kind of hope that her parents do still kind of get a speaking role in the second season. Because even though she's going to essentially be an apprentice and she's always going to be there with the other apprentices and everything it's like do we still have time for her to possibly go home or anything walk around and she sees her mom her dad she sees Tuli, she sees Lutz because she there there were points where they had like a moment in the trailer where it was her Lutz and Tuli all together so maybe we'll get to have her parents in this because her parents are important to this story because there are some shows where they're just like, okay, here's the parents, and we just one off, and we never see the parents again. So, make the parents more important in season two. If not, it's okay. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards part one and part two of the Ascendance of a Bookworms OVAs. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys sometime in April for when, um episode one of season two of Ascendance of a Book starts. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!